What is going on guys? Welcome back to the DS Asylum. I'm your warden Dimitri Strine and today we are finally, finally actually going over the uh, the 2.15, uh, the 2.15 update for Dragon Ball Legends. So they actually did a lot in this update and I'm actually quite impressed with the amount of stuff that is actually in here. So uh, just going over some stuff real quick, the missions. The missions are probably the biggest part. Uh, they, the new choosable missions, the mission list over here, the event plans. I would have chosen the last one, but I didn't think I was going to be playing PvP this season. Uh, so that was kind of my fault. I would have chosen the last one. I did get the premium uh, of the thing. I only have one more uh, to go. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it was only, what, $4, so that's why I bought it. It was very cheap. <laughs> I'm a very cheap person. I'm not trying to spend that much money on the game. So, they did uh, update a lot of stuff outside of just these missions. These missions are actually really good, and they're really easy to complete. I've already completed a great deal of them, and the rest of them are going to be very easy. I mean, a good, like, third of the missions, a good, or a good, like, quarter of the missions are literally just logging in for seven days which you should be doing because daily missions so they're very easy to complete and you get a lot of rewards one of the things that i'm most impressed about with this update is the amount of crystals and the amount of energy that they're uh, that they're giving so for those of you who don't know i zenkai 7 the super saiyan blue goku most of you guys should know this by now and I was at 21,000 crystals when I did it, and I spent all 7k right then and there. I would actually be at 19k right now had I not bought the cooler missions after I uh, pulled cooler. So I basically got almost all of my crystals back in the span of just a couple of days. And keep in mind, I haven't finished the cooler event. I haven't done whatever this is because I can't. I haven't finished out the uh, these Legends Festival uh, countdown missions. I haven't finished the uh, adventures. I have not done a lot of stuff. I haven't done, I don't think, any of these missions. So there's actually still a great deal of crystals to get. I could realistically be back at 21,000 before Black Friday, which is very... Uh, very impressive to me. I don't think we've ever gotten uh, this many crystals during any update, any celebration ever. Like, this is the most amount of crystals I think we've ever gotten since the game's release. And we've also gotten a lot of energy. So I spent, uh, I think, 700 energy uh, grinding resources to be able to 1400% Goku. I was at 3100 energy, and I'm already back to 2980. Like, we, we have gotten so much energy, so many crystals, and I cannot say that I am anything but super impressed about it. Uh, moving on to another aspect of the update, though, we have this special tab here in the events, where I still have not unlocked this, uh, where you can actually grind Kid Goku, and this, the actual Demon King Piccolo event, is on a time, there's three days left, so what I'm thinking this is going to do is once DKP ends, uh, Trunks' co-op thing should return here, which would allow you to grind him up. What I'm thinking is that they're going to start doing the Legends Road Zenkais on rotation here in the special uh, parts of the, uh, of the events, which would be very good. Now, I don't know if the uh, Recruit event is just going to appear down here when that co-op comes. And you can just grind Kid Goku whenever and Trunks whenever. And you just got to wait for their co-op events to come back in rotation. But that's much better than doing it normal co-op. Because we all know normal co-op is a pain in the ass. And with this co-op, you can just put it on autoplay. Which is great. I actually don't use autoplay very often. Even for Ultra Space Time Rush, I tend to actually play. Because I want to actually play the game. But I, I don't just hate co-op because of you know the online aspect of it i also just think the mode itself is boring like i don't enjoy playing co-op as a mode at all because i find it incredibly boring so the fact that i can auto play this makes me very happy if only i could skip ticket 
if I could use skip tickets on this thing, oh boy, my Goku would already be at Zenkai 7. But, uh, moving on, uh, we did get the return of Rising Battle Vegito. I wonder why they picked Vegito, since Broly was the first one, which leads me to believe that this Vegito could possibly be getting a Zenkai in the near future. That will be terrifying, but the fact that they brought him back instead of Broly when Broly was first, Vegito was second, leads me to believe that he may be getting a Zenkai in the near future, that he might be the first Rising Battle Zenkai. I honestly don't think he needs it. I actually think he is still usable. He's not great anymore. No, not 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 at all. But he he can still get the job done with how stacked the the fusion team is. He's he's definitely not a dead slot. Basically, he's still got one of the better Z abilities in the game, and he is still useful being able to heal and lock people in with his main ability. That's always going to be a powerful main ability. Not just locking in, but also healing himself. So, he's obviously not the best red option for fusions, that's, you know, a toss-up between Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and the EX Gogeta. I think when Super Sa when the transforming Gotenks is in his Super Saiyan 3 form, he's better than Gogeta. So, for those 45 counts, he's better than Gogeta, but outside of that, Gogeta is better. Uh, you can debate me on that if you, if you want to. But, um, yeah, I, I, think, I think he might be getting a Zenkai soon, so keep, uh, keep your eye, on, eye out on that. Uh, another thing that they changed is the HUD over here. When you go into the missions, the Z-level thing changes and you have this thing up here. Which is interesting. I guess they couldn't put it here since we have the jam pack mission event uh, right there. They couldn't put it here so they put it up there. I actually think that it works better up there. Uh, it's kind of weird how it doesn't stay up there. It just goes back to normal after that. Uh, which is kind of odd. But I mean at the end of the day it doesn't, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, there is one thing that I would like to say about this update, and that it's made the game incredibly slow. Like, I think it's the slowest the game has ever been. Luckily, it still takes no time to get into the game, but once you are in the game, everything moves at like 0 .04 speed, <laughs> and it's, uh, it's, it's not exactly ideal the game used to load in and out fairly quickly and with this update the game moves incredibly slowly so hopefully they work on that and you know in the near future we get an update that'll speed all of this up and uh you know not have to wait 10 years for it to load another thing that i want to talk about is the use of skip tickets you can now use a whole lot more skip tickets than you were previously able to let's just go in here as an example uh, well, I can only use one there, so right here. Uh, you can use up to 100 skip tickets at once, where it was previously only 10. So, they literally gave you 10 times the amount of skips, which is so good. And one thing that I do want to talk about is the fact that when you do use skip tickets now, uh, you get this screen right here. Um, a lot, there, there are people who probably don't understand why this happens, and my theory on it is it, it happens like this because in the event that you do use 100 skip tickets, if the game were to try and calculate that the way it was before, it would just take far too long. So instead of just having you stare at a blank screen for 30 seconds, they have this thing show up so at least you're looking at something and you can see what your energy is giving you for every 10. Uh, and it can actually help you in trying to figure out how much energy you need uh, the next time around. Because you can see exactly how much of whatever resource you're grinding for every 10 energy, which I do actually like. I, I do believe that the reason this exists uh, is so that the game can kind of keep up with itself so that it's not breaking and crashing whenever you try to use a large amount of skip tickets. So do keep in mind that uh, they, they did that for a reason. I, I, I do think that was a good design choice on them. It makes it makes sure that the game can keep up with itself, as I said. So. Um, what else? What else is there? Uh, <laughs> there's quite a bit of stiff. Quite a bit of stiff to go over. Uh, also, for, I, I also like the fact that they've been giving us um, 
a hundred crystals every single day, leading up to a thousand in total. Uh, that is very good. It's very nice. I, I do appreciate uh, that. Um, Rising Rush, right. Uh, the PvP changes. So, I do like the fact that when your Rising Rush is guessed, it sends you back to neutral. Um, one of my biggest uh, gripes with Rising Rush was the fact that if your Rising Rush gets guessed, your character's just dead because they can then combo you and then Rising Rush you in return. So, that's a good change. But I don't exactly notice the whole Dragon Ball reduction thing. I still get Rising Rushed in the first 15 counts of a match. So, I'm not gonna lie, I don't notice it at all. There have been plenty of matches I've been in where people have used rushes within the first 10, 15, 20 counts. So, uh, the, ri the rising, the Dragon Ball change essentially doesn't really exist. <laughs> like, even I have gotten rushes with units that don't even have card draw speed. I've gotten rising rushes within the first 20 counts, which is ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, so, I think they do need to update that again and make the Dragon Balls even less frequent because I genuinely don't notice the change really at all. Um, one other thing with PvP is the fact that the, uh, back, uh, the back mark, the thing that usually appears over here, it, it now stays there. It stays there forever. However, if it's trying to connect to something, it won't let you hit it. Uh, but it doesn't go away when it's not trying to connect to something, which is so good because now you're not just locked in there or forced to close the app whenever, you know, you can't find a match, you can just tap it, go back in, and it streamlines the process so well. I'm so happy they made that change as well. Uh, what, what, let's hop into the news, because I, I can't even remember everything. Uh, they did also, they did already fix a couple bugs. I did experience the bug where it would relock uh, the Demon King Piccolo event, so that's good. I love how they were able to fix that, but they couldn't, they, they still haven't fixed the cooler event. You know, that's, that's the reason why I haven't beaten the cooler event yet, because so, it's just like, bro. <laughs> so yeah, the Dragon Ball rates thing, I'm, I, I just, I still don't really see it. Um, the initial Dragon Ball count, I don't think was really necessary. I think you should just start the match with zero Dragon Balls. I don't know why they had to make it so that, you know, if you start with a Dragon Ball, your opponent starts with a Dragon Ball. I think both parties should just start with zero Dragon Balls. So, um, there's, uh, there's that. Again, I don't really notice the Dragon Ball raids. Cover change, uh, is a very good update, especially for units like Champa that reduce sub count whenever they get hit. Uh, that is a very good change now that you can, uh, cover change twice. Or really, it doesn't actually say you can only do it twice. So say, say um, you're running Champa. Excuse me. Say you're running Champa, and he's reducing the sub count on your units. You switch out, and you know, as your next per as as your next one's being hit, say uh, you cover change again. If you can somehow, if some, if somehow they manage to let, uh, make a combo last long enough for your next uh, substitution count to end. I think you actually could cover change three times. I actually don't think there's a limit to how many times you can cover change. I think it's just all dependent on your sub count. So I guess keep that in mind as well. If you are in a situation where you, you are a, you've already done two cover changes, but one of your units is now not on uh, cooldown, try and cover change a third time. I mean, let me know if it works. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so adjustments to main story parts one to three. Easier per to proceed through the story. I haven't actually looked um, at the story yet, like at all. So I can't really say anything about that because I've already beaten all the story. Uh, adjustments to the UI, uh, battle bonus job requests, yes, yes, yes. Bug fixes, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, I, I think we went over all of the important things <clears throat> regarding this update. All in all, this is probably the best update they've ever done, with the only real downside being one, the fact that the game runs like shit. <laughs> the game is slow as all hell, 
And the other thing is just the fact that I don't notice the Dragon Ball rate drop at all. Like, I, I still constantly get Dragon Balls on my cards. I'm constantly being rushed super early in a match. I still get rushes myself super early in a match. So I don't really notice any of that. <clears throat> but other than that, this is easily one of the better updates, if not the best update in the game's history. And I am definitely happy with it. The PvE side of things is perfect, absolutely perfect. The only thing that could make it better is if they made Pv PvE actually fun to play <laughs> by fixing the CPU and removing Perfect Vanish. Genuinely, I think PvE would be so much more fun if Perfect Vanish didn't exist. Same with PvP. I don't know why Perfect Vanishing exists in the first place. You're telling me I just have to take this combo because my opponent got lucky? <laughs> <laughs> like I, I'm not I'm not allowed to vanish just because my opponent got lucky to hell with you but uh, that aside this update is really good like I, I can't really complain about it outs again outside of the uh, slowness of the game and I do hope that they do more updates like this in the future preferably one that doesn't slow down the game <laughs> that would be nice but uh, let me know what you guys think of the updates if, if you enjoyed this video, agree with anything I said, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that join button if you can, it really does help the channel out. All the links you could ever want in the description below, including the background music. Don't you dare ask me what the music is in my videos. Every single song that is used will either be on screen or in the description, linked to the video that I took it from. <laughs> So look in the damn description, that's where all of my links are, all the background music, all the social media links, everything, every link you could possibly want is in the description down below, so do make sure to check that out, and I will see all of you inmates back here at the asylum for the next video. This is a really good update, really good. DS Asylum. Peace.